What's up guys? Welcome back to Airbnb ABCs. Now, if you guys are in the uh, Airbnb VRBO short-term rental space already, and you've been so for one or two or three years, you probably noticed that lately within the last, uh, you know, three or four months that bookings have kind of dropped off. And some people have and some people haven't. There's been some data that's been saying that the uh, rural markets and the uh, destination markets are having uh, a bit of a slowdown, whereas uh, some of the more urban markets and then the beach markets, you know, because it's coming up on uh, June and July and, October and uh, August, uh, those are having, you know, their typical types of years. But if you are noticing a slowdown in your bookings, we're going to try to work on that today because although it hasn't been uh, stated officially by the government, I do believe that we are in a recession here in the United States right now. Uh, and if even if we're not in a recession, there is definitely some major economic slowdown with inflation going out of control, uh, the stock markets being down, uh, gas prices being really high, especially for these uh, drivable destinations such as uh, Gatlinburg or um, uh, Blue Ridge Mountains or even anywhere along the uh, panhandle of the of the Florida coast over into Gulf Shores. Those types of driving destinations are go probably going to be hurt a little bit harder by this gas price uh, being out of control. But overall, people are just feeling negative on the economy and uh, they just probably either won't have as much money to spend or won't be as free with their money. So what I want to do today is talk about how you can maximize your listing uh, and how if you are in the market what to look for in order to be able to maximize your listing so that you can get the the most amount of bookings at, at the highest prices and you know make the most money off of your investment and guys I'm never going to sell you guys anything there's never going to be master class or anything like that I'm always going to give it to you guys for free and all I ask in return is for you to hit the subscribe button down below hit that like button and we're going to get into it look at my listings look at my listing that's done the best look at my listing that has done the worst and and we will, uh, I'll go into all the reasons why I do the things that I do to try to continue to get bookings at really good prices. So the first thing that you guys need to do out there is you guys need to have top tier properties. If you guys are gonna wanna keep your place rented consistently, you're gonna try to rent it for, you know, in the top 25 or the 75th percentile of your market, you need to have a place that is extremely desirable to go to. It has to be, you know, you gotta be uh, the prom queen or maybe the, you know, second or third runner up as far as properties go. And so if you guys are out there looking for properties to buy right now, keep that in mind. It may be a property that's a little bit more expensive than you were looking for, or you may have to save up longer in order to get it. But if you get that top tier property, you're going to have a much easier time and people are going to just want to come to your place because because of the way it looks. For example, the places that we buy in the Smoky Mountains that we make sure that they look like their cabins. Some of them literally are log cabins, but the exterior looks like the cabin, the interior looks like a cabin, it's got all the tongue and groove wood. Uh, we try to find places that have mountain views. Some One of our places doesn't, it doesn't book as well as the one that has mountain views. Make sure it has all the amenities that people are looking for. Again, in the mountains, you're looking for a fireplace, you're looking for a hot tub, you're looking for, like I said, those mountain views. If you guys are at the beach, you're looking and beach markets or whatever, you're gonna to wanna to try to have an ocean or golf view. You're gonna to wanna to try to be as close to the beach as possible. You're gonna to want a, to, build, to or build or buy a property that looks beachy. You know what I mean? Just with the with the decorations that are beachy, with the, the color schemes that go along with things, and those can all be changed as far as decorations and color schemes, but if the architecture of the building simply doesn't fit the area that people are looking for, say for example, you just try to do a 1970s brick ranch in pretty much any given market, people are not going to be likely to book that as their first place, uh, but they will end up booking a place like at the beach that's up on pillars, that's, uh, that's um, you know, light and airy close to the beach and then like I said in the mountain markets uh, they have um this cabiny look to it if you guys already have a place like that this is a time where you're going to have to put it to uh Bring out your creativity. If you guys do not have a top tier place, you're gonna to have to decorate it, you're gonna to have to paint it. You may even think about selling it using a 1031 tax exchange if you have any equity in there that could be taxed as, as capital gains and going out and purchasing one of these top tier properties so that you guys can just take advantage of that just natural ability for people to want to come to your place just because of the way it is. After that, 
you need to get into your photographs. And because, you know, when you look at the way media has gone and social media, it's the shorter form a time and time again. The longer form like this on YouTube, uh, you know, if you're still around here four or five minutes in when I'm talking about this, uh, you're probably in a, a smaller percentage than you think you are. With the advent of, you know, Instagram Reels, TikToks, YouTube Shorts, things of that nature, people have a very short attention span and you need to grab their attention immediately, which means that the title of your, um, of, of your cabin, of your beach, each home of whatever it does not make as much difference the uh, description does not make as much difference we're going to get into that but the number one thing that is going to reel you in those uh these people that are going to pay top dollar for your place is your pictures and just like this video right now the most important picture that is going to be on your listing is your thumbnail, is your, your cover photo, the first thing that people see, and that is gonna be the one when people are scrolling through hundreds and hundreds or thousands of rentals, like is in most of these major uh, short-term rental areas, that has to grab their eye and it has to stop them. And it has to say, this is what this place is. And you need to figure out what that is for your particular place. For example, the one on the screen right now, this is our, our best performing one. This is, uh, we call this Moonlight Ridge. I put a picture here of the hot tub that overlooks the mountains. And unfortunately, it does the, the picture doesn't even do the mountain view justice, but you can see that it's a log cabin, that there's a hot tub, it overlooks the mountain views. The second most important thing for your listing for your pictures are these four next pictures because these are going to be what comes up when you click on this listing. These are gonna be your, your next four uh, impressions that people are going to get. And as you can see on here, I've put a picture of our outdoor fireplace with it uh, with a fire going in it. And in the winter time, Sometimes I'll flip flop those between that one and the hot tub picture because in the winter time it may be a little less uh, necessary for that hot tub for that view. And then I'll switch that so that they see this fireplace, this nice warm fireplace that they can gather around. And then the next picture is the hot tub with the view. The other pictures show kind of the architecture of the building. They show that it is a, you know, it is a log cabin. It's a cute little place. It, the interior has that big lofted open, uh, you know, heavy timber construction that people like to go to. And then the, uh, the fourth picture is a... A picture of the backside of the place, you can see the fireplace, and then you can go through your pictures, you know, down from there uh, in, in like an order of coming into your, your cabin and how it will feel as you come into the cabin. Uh, I do that for all of my listings. I always try to find the thing that is going to stop people from scrolling, make sure that that's my cover photo. And then you can get into your, uh, your, your titles, your descriptions, and in those, you need to put things that are going to stand out for two reasons. One, you need to sell the space. You need to sell the space and the experience. Nobody cares that you have four walls, a roof, and a floor. You can get that anywhere, anywhere in the country, anywhere in the world. You need to, to explain in your description why your place is special. You have king beds in every bedroom. You have a hot tub. You have two wood burning fireplaces like this place has. Uh, you have a view. It's uh, you know it has soaring ceilings. It, it the light comes in in the morning. You can see the sunset. Something like that. You can see the ocean view, the seagulls, the sun sets over the ocean if you're in the uh, beach markets, whatever. You need to sell that. And then you need to put in your title, in your descriptions, uh, search engine um, optimization words like log cabin, like mountain view, um, uh, beach view, close to the beach, uh, waterfront, close to the lake, things that when people are searching and when Airbnb is trying to categorize your stuff into these new uh, Airbnb uh, um, categories, that they can pick that out and be able for you to uh, show up in those. As well as when you're putting together your listing, be sure that you have every single amenity that you can possibly offer. If you know, Don't miss anything because that could be the difference between your listing showing up at all and not showing up. If you have a hair dryer, if you have an ironing board, an iron, make sure all that stuff is in there. Make sure you try to put in as many things that will get your listing recognized as you possibly can. And then last, we come down to price. If your listing is priced either way too high or way too low for the market, you are going to suffer. If it is priced too low, 
For one, you're going to leave a lot of money on the table. If you have a top tier property, if you have photos, and if they're professionally taken as well. Now, actually, these ones on this this one for this uh, uh, Moonlight Ridge here, I actually took these with my cell phone. We have just been booked so much that I really can't even get a photographer in there to do a better job than I did. And we're just kind of letting it ride. But if you're not any good at taking cell phone photographs or you don't have a nice camera like I'm speaking into right now to take photographs with, get a professional uh, to take them. But if you have all that set up and your price is too low, you're just gonna leave money on the table because people are going to just book it up and then you're, you know, it'll be booked for sure, but you you might lose out on, on you know, tens or hundreds of dollars a night, maybe thousands, depending on how nice your place is. And if you're booked, if your price is way too high, you are going to be, uh, you know, people aren't gonna look at your space because they can say, well, we can get the same type of experience over here for $100 or $200 a night cheaper. Now, if you have something that's really nice and really unusual, you may be able to price that significantly higher than somebody else's listing. But you know, in the end, price does sell on these things. And what I've tried to do is I have just tried to stay booked out like four to six weeks. And I, I did learn that uh, on the internet, which I learned a lot of this stuff and I'm you know just kind of taking it and condensing it and regurgitating it to you guys. But uh, four to six weeks has kind of been my benchmark with the way that the economy has been, with the way that uh, travel has been, and maybe people are going more international. Maybe they're not doing these drivable markets now that more things are open. But I have actually been just kind of staying, you know, 10 to 14 days booked out. If I have another booking shortly after the booking that I'm currently hosting, right now that has been good enough for me. It's been a little bit stressful, but it's been able to keep our revenue up. We've been stay, we have stayed booked, uh, you know, very consistently, probably over 80% occupancy. And so that works well for me. Now, what I'm going to do real quickly, I'm going to show you this other uh, cabin that we have very quickly because we're getting a little long in the tooth with this video. This one that's up on the screen now, we call this one Whispering Woods. And it is not, it's just not as cute as our Moonlight Ridge. It's just not as uh, pleasing to the eye. But what we've done here is we have maximized the potential of this place. Our cover photo has this very nice uh, living room here where we have a floor to ceiling stone fireplace. We have very comfortable couches. Uh, again, there is a fireplace in here and you can see that it's tongue and groove almost everywhere. Our next uh, four pictures highlight all the other things about it. You can see it's got a hot tub. You can see that it has you know, multiple decks, it's high off the ground. Uh, we have a, a kind of a game room arcade where we have a Pac-Man game, we have a pool table and such. And then the fourth one is just a uh, picture uh, showing coming into the cabin, how you will see it when you arrive. And so guys, when you're putting together your listings, um, just always keep these things in mind. The number one thing that people are going to be looking for uh, is that cover photo, is that thumbnail, if you will, if you're a YouTuber or a you know a TikToker or whatever, um, that is going to be the thing that grabs their eye. It's gonna be the thing that gets them to click on that listing. After that, sell the space in the description. Don't just say that you have you know four walls, a roof and floors. Don't start off with all of your rules and you can and can't do these things and, and make your listing all negative. Be sure that you guys are making your listings very positive. Make sure that your descriptions are selling the space and you guys will be able to continue to book uh, at, at reasonable rates to high rates at a decent level of occupancy, even while we're going through an economic downturn, just keep grinding away on these listings, optimizing it, make sure you're putting in more work than the next guy and you guys are gonna be fine. I appreciate you guys watching today. If you haven't subscribed again, subscribe down below. Hit that like button for me. That really helps me out in the YouTube algorithm. Again, appreciate you guys watching and I will see you on the next one.